Hello friends, welcome back to my channel DSP Trails. Hope all are in good health. I'm in Electronic City, nice road entrance. It's 5 in the morning and I'm heading towards this place called Mandaragiri Hill, which is also called Basadi Betta by the locals. I love early morning rides. I exited nice road and uh, now I need to take left towards Tumkur road. Approximately 12 kilometers after Dabas Pete, I have to take this right turn uh, in order to reach uh, Mandaragiri Hill. Of course, there are other alternate routes as well. It is a secluded uh, place. Yes, the one that you are looking at is Mandaragiri Hill or Basadi Betta. This place has a religious significance and is one of the important pilgrim centers for Jainism in Karnataka. This place got uh, restored in recent years and has helped in rediscovering its uh, lost Jain heritage. Weather is very pleasant today and I am really excited to get the 360 degree view of the entire surrounding. There are lots to explore here. Let us first explore the base of the hillock. I entered this complex kind of structure called uh, Mukhamantapa and the first thing that grabbed my attention is this tall statue of Chandranatha Tirthankara. And this monolithic statue is a smaller scale model of uh, the Gomateshwara statue at uh, Shravana Belagola. On to the right from this statue is the famous 81 feet peacock feather temple which is one of its kind in the history of Jainism. This was uh, built as a meditation hall. And this beautifully carved pillar like structure is called Manastamba. It is an integral part of uh, Jain temples. It is a pillar that is often built in front of large statues or uh, Jain temples. It signifies that a person should leave his or her ego before they enter the main temple. This small hillock has approximately 400 plus steps and it takes 10 to 15 minutes to climb up the hill. And it houses four ancient uh, Jain temples built between 12th and 14th century. These small Jain temples belong to three different Tirthankaras. Bhagwan Chandranatha, Bhagwan Parshvanatha and Bhagwan Suparshvanatha as per the inscriptions. I am taking a right at this arch which will take me to the backside of the hill. I will advise you not to come alone here and also wear proper uh, safety gears when you come here. Friends, if you like the content I post, then please do like, share and subscribe to my channel and keep supporting. That's Maidala Lake. Wow! This amazing feel when you are surrounded by such splendorous views, you will be lost for words. I am stunned by the beauty of this place. No words can describe this beauty.
of the main temple is mostly closed. In case you would like to explore the temple, you can get the key from the caretaker. As per the historians, this is the abandoned Parswanatha Basadi. And this is the ruined Parswanatha Tirthankara idol on one of the boulders. These are uh, Saptamatrika idols of Ganga period. Saptamatrika means seven mothers. I can see a heap of litter here and it is actually disappointing because it does impact the sanity of the place. I mean it is perfectly fine if you want to eat and relax here but make sure to take the garbage along and dump it in a bin. Wow, history, nature and adventure all in one place, it's a package.